So for their final activity in Colombia, Prince Harry and Meghan arrived at Petronio Alvarez Festival accompanied by Vice President Francia Marquez to enjoy the music and all the cultural richness of the Colombian Pacific on their last day of visiting the country. And I must say the pictures and the videos that I am seeing from this event are just phenomenal. I mean, Megan, how do you get to be this beautiful? And you know, I just love seeing Megan in color. I've noticed she looks so beautiful. Do you see that uh, the green dress that Megan is wearing? Doesn't she look so beautiful? And she actually looks um just the same as she did like 10 years ago. She has completely refused to age. But I just love her and I love Prince Harry. They both look so stunning. And they were received so well in this festival. And in this picture, Prince Harry was pictured with his beautiful wife, Meghan, who looks like a 20-year-old, and Mayor Alejandro Eder, together with his wife, Taliana Vargas. Now, don't they look amazing? They all look refreshed moisturized happy and they're having a good time and if you remember well um mayor alejandro had earlier expressed his excitement over this visit of harry and megan saying that it was one of the biggest uh, visits their country has ever had so seeing them being pictured together i know it's making him really happy because now is his time to shine and well, in the festival, you can see how many people turned out. There were so many. So when the crowds were allowed to come, they came. Just take a look at how many people attended this festival. Hundreds and thousands of people are in this festival, which is so beautiful. And I truly believe uh, they were inspired to come even uh, with Harry and Meghan attending. So everything was just so beautiful to watch. The best part of it all is seeing Harry and Meghan being embraced and then they were also given gifts in uh, during this festival and I want you to watch this video. <laughs> Thank you for your beautiful culture. Gracias por su cultura hermosa. And thank you, thank you for your incredible hospitality. Y mil gracias por su hospitalidad increíble. Me siento igual. Muchísimas gracias a todos y todas. Y disfruten la noche. En nombre de los bicheros y bicheras del Pacífico Colombiano, quiero hacer entrega de este producto que pertenece a los pueblos de tradición bichera del Pacífico, un destilado de caña de azúcar, una bebida ancestral que ha sido mantenida en territorio para el cuidado de la vida, del cuerpo, de la salud y que ha sido fruto de un proceso de resistencia de nuestros maestros y maestras. Hoy el biche se presenta para el mundo y queremos decirles que el biche se respeta y que vive el biche y que vive el pacífico. So, while presenting the gifts, the woman said that and tell the world that Colombia is also marimba, that Colombia is also Pacific, that Colombia is also Afro, and that the Pacific is a prosperous region, a region of peace and harmony. What a beautiful message. And honestly, that is what I have seen for the past four days. A country that has people who are so warm, people who are so genuine, people who are so welcoming. And everything I've seen for the past few days has just blown my mind.
people who just like like having fun that is what i have known about colombia so it's so beautiful what we have watched and for this woman to say this it means that um that is the message that the world wants uh, that the world should know about colombia that it is a prosperous region and a region of peace and harmony thank you very much colombia for, for your warm welcome of the duke and duchess of sussex they've truly had a wonderful time in your country and yeah uh, in the video, you can also see Meghan translating Prince Harry's speech to Spanish. And that is a chef's kiss. Meghan has become such a pro that she has gotten to the extent in which she is translating Prince Harry's speech. This is so beautiful. And I'm sure Prince Harry is like, you know what? This is my wife and I'm proud of her. All these moments just make my heart melt and I'm loving every bit of it. Indeed, Harry and Meghan are global icons. They are dignitaries and there's no other royal tour that is ever, ever going to beat what we've seen uh, with Harry and Meghan just visiting places uh Colombia and also in Nigeria. Like they've done amazing work. They've shown the other leftover royals how these tours are actually done. And another fun fact is that uh, Megan's dress is Andres Otalora, who's another Colombian designer. How good is this? So Megan, we see you, we see the love that you have for these Colombian designers. And it did start when you went to Colombia. It started a long time ago. And the way you've blended into Colombia just tells us the kind of person that you are, the beautiful soul that you are, and the genuine person that you are. And indeed, Megan's dress is so, so beautiful. I can't insist on that enough because Megan looks good in everything she wears. And to me, it just seems like Prince Harry and Megan really, really enjoyed visiting Colombia. You can even see from the snaps that were taken of them, uh, they just look so happy. You can see how Harry was looking at Meghan while waiting for her to translate uh, the words that he had said. That is such an adorable look. Um, Colombia has treated them really, really well. And one thing I'm sure about is that they will be back. And one reporter even uh, said, that's a wrap for Harry and Meghan in Colombia. The world now sees this country in a whole new light. They celebrated Colombia's vibrant culture, warm-hearted people, music, and stunning and colorful landscapes. Thanks to these two international dignitaries. Indeed, Harry and Meghan are international dignitaries. We've seen it in all their visits and just the way that the media keeps following them around. They never do this when it comes to other royals. And the way that Colombia has now been put on the world map, the way that uh, so much focus was on Colombia during this time tells you how Harry and Meghan are truly international dignitaries. There were lives 24-7 concerning Harry and Meghan in Colombia. Like, that does not happen to, to the ordinary people. So call it what you call it, but we all know it's inter they are international dignitaries. And yeah, the colors in Colombia have just got me in awe. They're so beautiful. The mixture of colors is so beautiful. And we love you so much, Colombia. Thank you so, so much for welcoming the Duke and Duchess of Sussex into your country. Uh, you have shown yourselves. We've seen you. We've seen your beautiful country. We've seen your good hearts. And may God bless you all. So that is what I wanted to share with you for today. You can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this. And I'll see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Bye.